Well, we're putting the drive through the storm principle to the test this weekend. It's rainy here in Denver and we're up uh, going heading up to the mountains for a two night camping trip. We've been planning this for several months because you have to get reservations so far ahead of time. So we're going whether or not the weather's bad. And uh, I think it might be fine, we'll see. But to the rescue, we have not one, but two rooftop tents. We are bringing along with us our friends at 4x4 Colorado. Uh, offered to let us take these for the weekend to try them out, to do a review, to see what they're like. And uh, that's what we're about to do. So might be a little cold and wet and rainy, but we're going anyway. Well, it's 7 a.m. and I had a good night's sleep. It's a pretty sweet tent, actually. Um, <laughs> With all the windows closed, there's no indication of any light outside. Well, just a tiny bit, but it's pretty dark. <laughs> right away, I can tell you one of my favorite features of this tent is this little LED strip here. It's um, on low right now, and there's ooh, three settings. But you can see without it, even though it's light outside, there's no light in here. With the light, light, it's nice. One weakness of that is that just because of the way the tent is shaped, it kind of doesn't really reach all the way to the end of the tent. It kind of does, but it'd be nice to have double strips on this one, like on the Alto. Yes, these are my <laughs> rough and ready camping shoes. And there's a little bit of moisture collection up here, but it's very dry inside. All right, well, night one was a success. The boys were super warm in the Alto Mini over there. Okay, tell me how you guys slept in here. That's the most comfortable I've ever been on a camping trip. <laughs> that says a lot, you've been on a lot of camping trips. Well, there is a double mattress here. There's the standard mattress, and then we added this extra four incher on top of that. It's pretty wide, actually. It's big enough for two and then some. There's a little bit of condensation on the inside here, which I don't know if it's leaking or if it's just condensation from the temperature differences. And there's a tiny bit of water collected here, which is a little bit tricky because if you hit it the wrong time, it goes right on top of you when you're climbing up the ladder. But otherwise, the tent held up pretty well. It rained quite a bit last night. And we were all dry inside. It was surprisingly warm inside the tent uh, compared to what it is outside. And it got down to the high 30s last night, so, so far so good. All right, the sun is finally out after a couple of days of rain. We're here in Colorado and, got, and we have a couple of really amazing uh, items to review here to talk about. These are tents um, that, lent, that were lent to us by the good folks at 4x4 Colorado and I really like these tents so I want to take you through them all the way back and forth and inside and out. Um, we, we got a bunch of footage of us in the rain last night uh, which is part of the story. They held up really well in the rain. There were a couple of small issues but not any big ones but they held up pretty well. Now, with regard to setup and takedown, uh, both of these tents are pretty easy to set up, particularly the Stratus, pretty straightforward. And something to consider is, you know, can you do that when it's raining? In this case, yes, I think you could. Uh, also, in this particular case, the Alto, it, it does go up pretty easily as well. A little more involved because it does have the flip out. Um, and I haven't actually tried to put this away, so I'm not sure how complicated that will be to do uh, by myself. When I put the uh, Stratus away, it was a harder than I thought it would be, actually. Partly that's because I don't own a rooftop tent, so I don't have a whole lot of practice in that. In that. And you know, you, you just need to kind of know the little tricks for each of the, each of the individual tents as you, uh, as you try them out, right? Um, but I, I think with a little practice, it, it could probably come down pretty quickly. Could you do it in the rain? Well, if you had to, absolutely, but you'd get, a, you'd get pretty wet. And over here on the R1S, we have the Stratus 2.0. Um, this particular tent uh, is 
very similar to another tent that uh, 4x4 Colorado makes called the Nimbus. Um, the only difference between them is that the Nimbus is a clamshell shape, whereas this one is a straight up shape. This particular tent is really cozy and comfy. It's really good for one person, could fit uh, you know, two people if you're, if you're used to squeezing. For me personally, it's a good one, it's a good single size, but it is pretty wide. So it's uh, 49 inches wide, 80 inches long bed size. Now inside the tent here, it's really comfortable. It is big enough for two people. Um, it, it would totally work for two people. I mean, it, it's great. Uh, 49 inches wide. So uh, also if you are organizationally inclined, there are lots of uh, pieces here like these, this stacking little bit of pockets and this uh, piece up here that I really enjoy, which is uh, another, uh, some hanging pockets, which is really great because it stays out of the way. Um, what I was saying earlier, the uh, difference between this particular tent and the Stratus, sorry, this is the Stratus, the dis difference between the Stratus here and the Nimbus is the way they're shaped. This is a flat top, but if I'm laying here and I sit up, I can sit up mostly straight and my head doesn't touch. It does touch if I really stretch, but it, it's, it's a comfortable thing. I wouldn't sit up and bonk my head if I, if I were sitting up in the middle of the night. So it works just fine. My feet don't even come close to the other end and I'm six feet tall, so um, that's pretty cool. But I can see if you were taller, you might want to uh, use the Nimbus because the Nimbus is sloped with the high end here and the low end there. And um, it, you know the, the disadvantage being that your feet are closer to the top, which is fine. Um, uh, but you get more headroom. So that's the main difference between uh, these two tents, the Stratus and the Nimbus. I, I like both form factors. I can see the advantages of both. One of the disadvantages of uh, this flat rooftop, I think it might be a little bit harder to close. I'm not sure because I haven't tried the Nimbus, uh, but for this particular one, the Stratus, it is pretty tough to close. I had a hard time closing it. Um, and a lot of it was just because I had only done it once, so probably once I had done it a few times, it'd be a lot quicker. Uh, definitely easier to open, though. It opens really well, really well, really easily, and it's really nice to have the aluminum top on there that keeps the rain out. So uh, the other, th the other disadvantage, I think, I'm not sure uh, if this is a disadvantage or not, but given that it's a flat roof, it collects water when it's raining, so the water just pools up on the top. Um, which is okay until you try to close it and then all that water has to go somewhere. So if that's the case, if it's rained, you just want to like tip it a little bit and let it all drain out first. But uh, I, didn't, I didn't realize that, so I tipped it and it got some of my camping equipment wet, which is fine. But, uh, you know, you use these tents a couple of times and you learn uh, your tricks and how to do things. But overall, I really like this tent. It, it, it was a really great sleep. It was warm inside, um, even though it was down in the 30s last night. It was pretty cold. One of the things I love about this tent is this particular material. I was former army, and it kind of reminds me of uh, the material in the in the in the army. And and that's not a that's not a criticism. That's that's really a compliment. It's rugged. It's got a little bit of a rubbery feel on the inside, and um, it's got that canvasy uh, sort of sewn-in feel on the outside which uh, really does well at holding the water out. It rained a lot, as I said, and uh, the water stayed out. There was a little bit of condensation in uh, the other tent where the boys were sleeping, but not a, not a whole lot. Um, otherwise, I, I wouldn't have known it was raining were it not for the, you know, the sound on the top. There are four windows, one on each end, so that's really great. That's a nice advantage of this particular form factor because you can just open up all four windows, windows and get a breeze from all directions. So it would be really nice in the, in the you know, warmer climates where you want the breeze. I like that these uh, little rain flies uh, shoot out from the side and they're really easy to assemble and pretty stiff. So they don't flap around at all. I'm not worried about the wind taking them down or anything like that. There's another feature that this, this tent has, which is this little pass through for uh for a heater if you want to add a heater if you're in a really cold climate which would be great because you can tell this is not insulated but the this uh, uh fabric is thick enough to where uh it, it would keep the heat in quite well the other thing this heater can work as is a little pass through for an electrical cord if you have a Rivian and you can plug in an, a power outlet to the bottom which is what i did and ran it out and ran it through here and used this 
to uh, you know charge my phone and my watch and so on. It's a really good size to fit on top of the R1S and of course the main advantage is the aluminum box that it goes in which is very a very small form factor only about eight and a half inches thick. Um, it does make a little bit of a noise when you drive it at high speed. Not a super loud noise, but it's noticeable. I don't think it'll affect range much. I mean, check out the other video that I've recently done about that where we had a rooftop tent similarly, but a little bit bigger. And it only affected the range by about eight-ish percent by our measurements, not a whole lot. This particular tent on top of the R1T is called the Alto Mini. Um, it, it does uh come in two versions there's a little one that's a little bit longer this one's the better one for the r1t it does fit on here fits quite well hangs over just a tiny bit um, but you know if you're taking your tent on and off uh, that's not a big deal not for me at least um, it's a great tent it's got a lot of space inside i'm climbing up inside as you can tell now the alto is quite a bit bigger inside at least it feels quite a bit bigger inside uh, than the stratus does this is the Alto Mini, so there is a different sized uh, version that's a bit longer, I believe. Um, but this one is a really nice tent. One thing I really love about this tent, it's got some LED lighting in the corners with actually multiple brightnesses. One over there, one over there. It works really well. It actually lights up the whole tent and it's a really nice feature to have in the, in the middle of the night. And this particular tent on the inside is really nice. Lots of room in here. The boys slept in here and they said that they didn't uh, feel each other all night long. So I think they rate this as a maybe a three-person tent or even a four-person tent. I, I would rate it as a solid two-person tent uh, just because I tend to, to go for bigger tents. But, you know, some people can sleep tighter. Um, but that's quite a lot of sleeping space uh, on the back of the truck. So that's pretty sweet. And your typical features, uh, just like the Stratus, very similar. Um, the... The fabric is the same. I really like the fabric. It, it looks really cool. It's got a great uh, interior that's black. It's nice and dark in here at night when everything is zipped up or in the day even when everything is zipped up. Um, it's got a hard shell here so that uh, you, know, you don't have to be worried about wind and rain. And uh, this top shell actually held the rain out quite well. There was a little bit of condensation on the interior uh, down at the bottom, but not too bad. Um, and given the amount of rain that we had, I'm not all that surprised anyway. Uh, generally speaking, I like this tent as well. I think I prefer the tent that's on top of the R1S just because it just seems like a nice little form factor uh, that's, that's just my size. However, if you're trying to find enough uh, room to sleep a whole family, this would be much better, a, a much better option. And obviously this is the better option for the truck because it goes over the top of the bed. You could put this over the top of the R1S. I, I haven't asked the guys at 4x4 Colorado if they've done that. Um, they probably haven't, but uh, maybe we'll try that one out uh, at a future date. Now, another thing that people are wondering about, I'm sure, is the cost. This particular tent, the Stratus 2.0, uh, starts at $27.95, um, and this particular one starts at $29.95 just because it's a little bit bigger. The Nimbus, that's the same size as this one, is the same price at the, as this one, $27.95. Now, let's be honest, that, that's a lot of money, right? The crew tent that I had uh, is on sale for about $1,000, so much better in the price department. However, it's not a hard shell, so you have a couple of disadvantages there. It's a little harder to put away, well, quite a bit harder to put away, actually. And then driving long distances, you get a little more flapping. I'm a little bit, I would be a little bit worried about, more worried about getting wet and so on whereas this hard shell is nice. The other really nice feature of this particular hard shell is that as you can see here, you have these T-slots all the way around on both upper and lower, uh, the lower portion for both this tent and the other. Um, you could use some, some uh, T-bolts there to attach all kinds of stuff to it. In fact, 4x4 Colorado makes a uh, system that you can attach to the, into those same T-bolts uh, slots and then it runs some uh, supports across the top of the middle so that you can attach things like, I don't know, like a Rome box on the top, for example. Now, more about price. Uh, that particular price point, uh, under 3,000, uh, just under 3,000, um, is I think a pretty good price point for the quality that you get here. I do think it is worth the money. If I were going to buy a rooftop tent, I would have a hard time deciding between all three of these tents, these two, plus the other tent that 4x4 Colorado makes.
All right, so in summary, I would give both of these tents a big thumbs up. I do like them both for these particular vehicles. I think my favorite features I would probably list, first of all, the cost, the price of it is pretty good in comparison to what some of the costs of the other tents that are out there. Um, I do love the fabric. I think that's another one of my feature, my favorite features. I love the interior LED lighting. I, I love these little metal bits here that hold uh, these <clears throat> awnings out and they, they, they're out super stiff. Those are my favorite features. I think also the uh, profile, the low profile of the Stratus tent on top of the R1S, I really like that. Um, and uh, this particular one has the aluminum box as well. So I do like that also. Okay, we're back in the shop. We are, uh, we've just taken, taken off the tent. Here's Blaine, he's with 4x4 hey Colorado. I just wanted to ask Blaine uh, if people are interested in the tent, where they go, how they get it, and so on. Scott, uh, people, if they enjoy the tent, I uh, think it will be a quality product for their vehicle. They can go to 4x4colorado.com. That's the number four, letter X, the number four, colorado.com. You can also use the code RIVDAD, R-I-V-D-A-D, at uh, checkout to save $200 off any of our rooftop tent models. That goes from the Nimbus, the Stratus, to the Alto, so even a tent that Scott didn't cover. Um, so yeah, hope you love the tent. Super, really appreciate cool. it, Scott. Thank you. That that's news to me, but thank you so much. That and do that if you if you are interested in buying a tent, please use that tent, use that code. That would be awesome. So yeah. and thanks again, Blaine, and thanks to all the other crew. Yeah, right. absolutely. Thanks, guys. Cool. All right, that's it for this video. Thank you so much for joining us. Thanks especially to the folks at 4x4 Colorado, to Blaine and Russell and Josh in particular for helping me set this up. Please visit 4x4colorado.com to check out the tents and you can order them anywhere in the country. You can have them shipped to you. So do that and we will see you in the next one.